bit on the radio and via social media about uh, the president, George Herbert Walker Bush, who passed away Friday at the age of 94. And I wanted to kind of finish up what has been a week-long conversation with my audience on the radio and many people who I have a lot of respect for talking about this courageous man. And we've gone through his resume, who he was, obviously an incredible family man. You heard some amazing comments today, including from his son, George Walker Bush. But I want to talk about what he meant, even at the grassroots level, because I think a lot of people think because of the presidency, it's untouchable, it's in a different stratosphere as far as politics, but he really was a man of the people, and he helped people from all walks of life at all levels of government and communities, even in places like Eastern Ohio, right, Joe? Absolutely, Rob, and uh, the man was a special person. He was our 41st president, right. and... Uh, he did and said things differently and handled things differently in the White House. His first lady was a beautiful lady, Barbara Bush. Yep. I mean, she was a real down-to-earth person. And, and I like the fact he graduated from Yale. He was captain of the baseball team. And uh, just a lot of things that he did. And you know one of his last requests was, Rob, he says, I want to make sure President Trump is at my funeral. Because that short time we're going to have unity because of the way the people have been chastising Trump. And I think the president in his mind said, hey, let's put it together just for a moment. And, uh, but he, you know, he, he was just a special person. He loved to joke around, which that tells important. you a lot. That tells you a lot. And he helped a lot of people. I worked in Kuwait right after Desert Storm. He come to Kuwait during that period of time. The prince there gave him a belt of gold there was a million dollars. But when he came to Kuwait, everything shut down. You couldn't drive the streets or anything. I mean, and we were lucky enough to go into a Marine compound and, and uh, Bush stopped there just to say hello. And we seen him and waved. And that's, uh, but he was a good man, Rob, no doubt. He showed me what it means to be a president who serves with integrity, leads with courage, and acts in love with his heart for the citizens of the country. George W. Bush said, describing his father as a man who preferred steaks and vodka martinis over broccoli and who lived life at two settings, full throttle and sleep. God bless you, Mr. President. Sleep well. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for tonight from Wellsville, Ohio with your Pratt Pack.